Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Dinky winky, winky winky. Baby born, baby born. When baby born cries. What in the way of you? Is I'm basically making a pipe bomb. Watch out, watch out, watch Whoa. out. Forged in Fire, a show that is recommended all over YouTube so much that I am starting to think that there is a line in the YouTube code solely for promoting this program. But if you've somehow never witnessed this piece of television artistry, a show that has a title that sounds like a mission from God of War may just be the most dramatic piece of media known to man. Well, we got sparks flying today. This competition means a lot to me, but I don't want to die. Never doubt Dave Rowe. It's nuts. My biggest weakness is I'm colorblind. Four starting bladesmiths, aka four American men that look exactly what you think men that make swords in their free time would look like. <laughs> compete against each other in the forge, fighting for a grand prize of $10,000 and a £20 Steam gift card. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not the gift card. Such fierce competitors as this bold American man. This bold American man. And this bold American man. In a high stakes battle of tension, titanium and testosterone, there can only be one victor. Each contestant has 10 minutes to chalk up a design for their epic blade of choice. Then they have to gruelingly create this design for three straight hours, putting in blood, sweat and tears. And after this blade is created, this is where the show really hots up. Did it? Like, hots up? Because the show is called F Forged in Fire. Anyway, they then have an additional three hours with more blood, sweat and tears to turn their carefully curated blade into the ultimate weapon of destruction to prove themselves as a true bladesmith. These highly detailed weapons are then brought to the forge where all three blades are tested and put through a range of technical tests. Such gruelling tests as hitting a bit of wood. And of course, it's all filmed in slow motion with rock music over the top for ultra dramatic effect. And there is no moment that brings a man to his knees more than watching his blade snap. Not only have you just been humiliated in front of your fellow bladesmiths, that weapon is a metaphor of your manliness, and nobody wants to see their manliness be destroyed by another man in front of other men. Bob, your blade suffered that catastrophic failure in one stroke, and for that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. If you've never broken a blade as a bladesmith, you have a bladesmith. So once the amateur soft-bladed bladesmiths are humiliated and eliminated, being quickly weeded out, it comes down to the face-off. The final two bladesmiths. They're shown a historical weapon and have five days to create their version of this weapon in their home forge. Home forge gang. Me and my homies love home forgers. Forged in fire, more like forged in my home forge. Now it's after these five days in the gruelling home forges that the bladesmith's skills really get put to the test. Their weapons that they have just sat there and slaved away at for five days are put through a number of rigorous tests by one man. A brute, a vicious vagabond, an apex predator. This small man. But don't let this man's small stature fool you for a second, because Doug Marcada is a US military contractor that is trained in the martial arts style of Cali. And boy does he use it. I mean, he goes ham testing these weapons. Like a new DLC character from Mortal Kombat, he devours everything in his path. Ripping through animal carcasses, human bodies, and... Melons? <laughs> and not 
only does he push the blacksmith's blades to breaking point, but if they meet his requirements, he drops his signature catchphrase, it, it will, will kill. kill. It will kill. Will kill. And it will kill. Will kill. Will kill. Will kill. Overall, your weapon here will kill. Which, if you're unaware, is an acronym Doug himself came up with that stands for keeps everyone alive. I mean, how badass is that? Nothing is more hardcore than acronyms. Nice throw! So finally, once the Pro Blade Master has been crowned and received their $10,000 check, the runner-up is then beheaded with their own weapon. Okay, that, that isn't strictly true. Forged in Fire is a great watch. So dramatic, so climactic, I highly recommend it. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm just going to head down to my home forge and craft myself a Claymore. So I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.